Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Rogue Genesia run. And let's get to it right away, honestly speaking. Let's hope we're gonna get a new crazy legendary to not legendary, just a crazy weapon to level 9. Um Yeah, that's it pretty much. <laughs> that is the plan for today. No further no further plans other than that. Uh what weapon should we go for though? That is the main question here. Let's let's try something new. I mean we're always trying something new. Uh cleavers. <laughs> as simple as that. Uh, so I, I, I picked the card a bit too fast. So Cleaver over here launches a weak but larger attack. The push enemy is back. Triple critical damage. So that means today we're going to do a crit build. That is the plan here, I guess. Uh, 101.5 uh, attack delay, 22 piercing. So it pierces almost everything. Arm stem project, unlock back, and knock back. So um, yeah, the plan is go with uh, Cleavers. <clears throat> Try to go crits. I guess we're going to level up the Cleaver here, I would say, not the, the other thing. <laughs> Let's just get the thing going. Uh, another plan would be clumsy. We get more projectiles, we lose defense. Obviously, we're gonna get that. Of course, of course, I'm gonna throw out as many cleavers as I can. Secondary weapon could be kunai's. I'm thinking about something that hits around us a lot better, like a katana or something. So for now, let's just not take the kunai. Let's just uh, get this major of attack speed. I don't know, man. At the end of the day, whatever. We're gonna keep my rules for a, a more important point in the game, I guess. We're gonna have only. These choices, yeah, now we're gonna reroll, we're not gonna take movement speed this early. Let's get max health, future-proofing ourselves again. Damage multiplier, uh, oil cleaver, or oh, this, all of these are good. Damascus steel, let's get the damage multiplier so we find it easier to. Honestly speaking, yeah, I want to, uh, let's level up the cleaver here. I want to hope that I'm gonna be lucky enough and uh, get a katana or something here. Crit damage, I mean, I will go full-on crit build. So, I would say let's begin with it. Now, we're gonna find them later. Let's get Damascus Steel for now. Actually, was that a good decision? I don't even know. Today, we're gonna try to obviously get Focus. Focus is the keystone passive or, you know, skill or level or card or whatever you want to call it that has to do with crits. A secondary weapon that could be good with crits, as I said, is the Katana. Maybe even Arrow. Arrow would also be good. You know, any, any of the nature, anything that attacks things that are close to what is this analysis. This is a new thing. Average is here. Wow. Game be like, are you sure you want to go crits? Yeah, I'm gonna go crits. Let's go crit chance. The time has come. The time has come to get the cleaver crit build with the times, uh, with the level 9 cleaver. That is the build today. Now, I really hope we're gonna find a weapon here because that is uh, the most important aspect. I was chasing those down. You thought they were gonna uh, escape me? You think you were gonna escape me, bats? Is that what you think is gonna happen? Okay, these goblins definitely survive though, which is pretty bad. So right now my normal attacks are with 10s and yeah, and my crits are 29s. Ooh, crazy damage. Crit chance, obviously we're gonna go with this. Crit damage, I see it. Let's get crit chance first. And let's continue with, I think I just picked up a magnet here at the end. Resetting my uh, every nine boxes a magnet passive. Single-handed, we lose projectile, we gain damage. Do I want to do that is the question though, because I do enjoy throwing out 50,000 cleavers, but I also enjoy getting a one shot going. So let's actually do this. Yes, let's lose projectiles. Today the plan is not to have a million projectiles. Today the plan is to see a million crit damage. Sword of Minus here is pretty much forced because I'm playing this um, unique version that I always get it. Let's get an impenetrable bolt here for damage mitigation. Mm, now let's rarity roll the kunai away. Let's take the health, whatever. Let's go over to... Base damage, we're gonna take that, of course. The more damage we do, the better. As you see now, I only have one cleaver, but that doesn't really matter, as it is still in one shot. Now, obviously, I do get the math behind the fact that having more would be better DPS-wise, but we're gonna catch up. Let's get this attack delay, piercing, knockback, and we gain more damage. I do get the fact that one cleaver does less damage than three cleavers, okay? But I also understand that if I later get more projectiles, it's gonna be more important. Magic Wisp. Honestly, no, not slow with grit chance. As of my secondary weapon, I really would enjoy getting uh, bow, I would say. Spear, no. Average, no. That's anti-crit. Let's go crit damage. The crit build, man. The crit build. Bow or bow or uh, magic wand. Actually, the blue wand would be... Oh, void spirit. This really, this is really good. This really 50% chance to attract any soul gem that appears. Very nice. The fact that I got it this early... Thorns is here. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go with Thorns. Let's go with Thorns as my second weapon. Let's go with Thorns. Now you're gonna say, Yo, Sift, you always pick up Thorns. Yeah, that's because it is a non-invasive weapon that can easily transition over into a very nice and clean... Um, what am I even talking about? Let's go crit. <laughs> let's go uh, Let's go XP multiplier. Now that I already have the Void Spirit. 
Yeah, Thorns is a good weapon to get level 7. That's not gonna affect what the run is gonna look like. Overworked. We gain double the crit. Wow. I never have found this. Double the crit damage, but we lose half our health. I'm gonna definitely take this. That seems very powerful for what we're going with. Old coin. Double the XP, you lose your money. Yeah, that's good because I gain money mostly out of the thing. XP gain is higher out of, uh, you know, Midas. Obviously, both of these are really good. We're gonna go with XP, obviously, as we do want to get that crazy level ups overloaded. This is you get double the projectiles from everything projectile related. That's why it's from zero to zero, but we lose attack speed. That's gonna increase our damage even further. But losing attack speed is not something I really want to do. So honestly speaking, I'm just gonna level up the cleaver. Because, yeah, no, no, let's keep the cleaver. Crit chance here. Compromise, we get a projectile for damage. Not really. Cleaver. Uh, in general, more projectiles is not my main focus. Okay, my main focus is I throw out one blade, and as you see, it does 300 damage. That's my blade main focus. I throw out the blade, it does a million. Projectile. This is the one time I'm not gonna throw this away, as the cleaver does actually benefit from projectile size, but I'm gonna get critical chance. So I guess what should I throw away? I guess the mini... The mini max health, the mini HP region or something. Let's go thorns, obviously. We need to get the thorns to level 7, otherwise the level 9 dream is dead. Let's go good base damage. That is pretty decent here. 400 damage on the crits already. What does it look like when it hits an opponent? Okay, cuts like a piece off. Let's go with bookworm. I guess we can also damage these guys through thorns. If anything, thorns do more damage. Uh, I would say let's go with this. Defense is decent and also max life is also decent. You know, for once again, future proofing. Student, I would say, although damage is really good. Uh, no, actually, let's take damage. We're going to take things that we actually want. Let's crit chance, 50% at this point. Uh, my crit chance is going to plummet in a moment, just so you guys know. The moment we find focus, the crit chance is just going to be gone. We're going to banish this, especially because we have um, the void thing that gathers everything up. Let's go with multiple, you know, but yeah, just damage, straight up damage. I don't know why I'm trying to explain here. It's really nice that I'm attacking close by momentum. Yeah, we're going to get momentum just for the projectile size. Projectile knockback really doesn't matter to me. If anything, it's bad. I don't want opponents to be running away from us. 60% crit chance. Okay, game goes on with the crit chances there. At this point, almost all of my attacks are crits. 150% attack speed. We're gonna take... I see the crit chance, but obviously we're gonna take the attack speed. Uh, you know what I really want to get? Accumulation. If I get accumulation... Oh man, oh man. The crits. Oh, the crits. Magic Wisp. Honestly, I don't want this. Uh, I would say rarity roll this. Life Project a lifetime, actually. Let's, uh, let's have the cleaver start thro getting thrown out more and more so that it just flies off. Look at these crits, man. 500 damage crits there. XP, uh, okay, damage multiplier, obviously, we'll just take that. No questions asked. And from 422, now we're doing 500s. Very nice, 526s. In some cases. Uh, we're not going to take this. We're going to keep the cleaver at level 6. We're going to go with XP multiplier. Actually, no, let's go crit damage. Um, yeah, crit damage, I think, is the play. I'm not sure, actually. Maybe XP multiplier is the play. Sometimes I have no idea what's better. Cast selection. We're gonna get thorns, of course. I need this to be 7 out of 7 before we get to the blacksmith, not to after we get to the blacksmith. Off to the right we go. This is a time fight. Time fights are good for us. What was that? Most likely food. I mean, at the end of the day, here's the magnet. Very nice. Although this is a time event, so... Yeah, I'm actually, because it's a time event, I should just be running around. This is the good damage. We're gonna take that. 500, 627 at this point. Oh man, oh man. Uh, I just need some recursions and some uh, accumulations, and this uh, is gonna become 20k damage, if not more. I really hope I'm gonna see like crazy numbers, 500,000 or something. Let's get thorns, of course, as that is literally the gatekeeper. Heavy is here, we obviously will take this, no questions asked. This gives us good damage, projectile size, which I enjoy in life. We lose movement speed, but that's like, who cares? And projectile speed also becomes slower, which is uh, pretty bad, but we can theoretically increase that. Attack speed against crit damage. I'm gonna get crit damage as I already have attack speed once, so this has a higher chance of appearing, and this, I want to make it have a higher chance of appearing by taking it at least once. 9999 is the crits we do right now. By the way, my normal damage... Oh, what happened there with the uh, 9999s? Where are my 999s? Anyway, uh, still, everything gets destroyed easily, and we continue just smacking through here and moving around. I need attack speed, by the way. Blood pressure for more damage. This is really good, but honestly, I would say... This time, let's go XP gain. This time let's go XP again. I'm already doing almost one shot damage to most of these things. Even those 90 damage hits are one shots, so might as well try to get something better going. Uh, not something better going, but future proofing the run. Trying to get those, squeezing those levels out. Uh, Damascus Steel against Cleaver. Obviously, we will never ever level this up. Let's go Damascus Steel. I hope we're gonna find double damage, by the way, because the relic. 
Because without that, I don't see this being the highest damage one ever. As by definition, you need to have double damage relic. Literally gives you double damage. And also I need accumulation. Continue running around. What's this one projectile but it's being damaged? Almost, almost, no, no, not straight up, no. Uh, this is more damage for attack speed. I would say yes to this, honestly. Damage is everything in this run. Today, today is the run where I throw out the cleaver blade and just, if anything is there, it just dies. If it gets, if you get hit, you're done. You're, you got cleaved. Let's see what we can get. The musk steel is good. Base damage is the small one. Oh, let's get the musk steel. Let's continue. So we're not gonna die, by the way, because I'm throwing away defense at all. Okay, reduce monster health. That's good. And increase monster armor. That's also good. We get thorns. I see multi-handed, but... I have to take thorns, man. Let's get multi-handed. I mean, I'm not shouting anything anyway. Nah, let's get multi-handed. I'm okay. I I have to. Just have to. Let's go attack speed here. Projectile lifetime would also be good in general, but I think I need to fix my attack speed before I get accumulation and then I literally won't have attack speed ever again. Uh, I'm gonna go XP gain here. I'm gonna go XP gain because right now damage is not an issue. As you saw, that elite just disappeared from existence. And uh, whenever we disappear in the lead from existence, uh, let's remember that we also gain 50% more XP. Uh, I think about 3 times more XP, actually not 50% more XP. Agility, base damage, crit chance. All of these are good. Uh, I would say let's go base damage. I think that multiplies more things with each other. I might be wrong about it, but the damage difference shouldn't be that big. At the end of the day, the other one is crit chance anyway, so... This definitely makes it so that the crits do more damage. Because crit chance definitely doesn't make the crits do more damage. <laughs> let's go with attack speed once again. Saw the castle there. I don't really need it. Let's continue smashing. Look how fast we're attacking. Although, honestly, that's uh, not gonna be part of us uh, the moment accumulation appears. Accumulation being like, oh, damage incoming, man. Bye, bye, bye. Everything gets one shot still. Dash is no. The Moscow steel, I would say. Yes. 280 something damage. Percent. I hope we're gonna. You know what? I also hope. The things I want to get is, first of all, double damage. And then also the thing that says every time you find food, you gain damage. Momentum against damage against crit damage. Let's go crit damage for 140. Obviously focus. The most important thing to get is focus. Focus being a legendary card that... Um, well, a legendary... A heroic, heroic card. Heroic. A heroic card that gives you... I think 5 times as much crit damage. And you lose 5 times as much, as much crit chance. Or something like that. I don't know the exact math behind what exactly it does. I want to be clear about this. Also, just remember that I didn't really get the meta progression upgrades about crit chance. It's like 2.5% crit chance per level. I could have bought like one level, I think. Yeah, big difference. Uh, let's go here. Although, as I said previously, damage is going to increase my damage more than crit chance. The thing is that I need to get all those crit chances up and going. At the end of the day, we will need them anyway. So it's not like uh, just because I said it previously it doesn't mean that we need damage. Just continue. And honestly speaking, I don't really want to lose attack speed yet. By the way, um, once again, we're going to be afraid about not being able to get the thorns in time. And we're also going to be afraid about not maybe finding the cleaver in the blacksmith. But if it happens, it happens. You know, let's go crit damage, of course. That does increase our damage. 1,700 crit damage. Man, the moment we find focus from 1,000, it's going to go to 10,000 right away. Like, boom, instantly. I want to really see what the crit, what the cleaver looks like at level 7, man. That is my line 9, at level 9. That's my most exciting thing here. Cleaver, it has to be the most high, the highest damage. The most highest, the mostest. The highest damage in the game. Crit chance, I was actually crit damage. That's better. If anything, I don't want to remove it from rotation, because the more chances I get to pick something, the better. Uh, also, once again, this, this whole idea of doing thousands upon thousands of damage it is not overkill completely. It is overkill, obviously, but the thing is that this game does actually have a mechanic for overkill. So that means there is no downside in have, doing overkill damage. That's what I tried to explain here. Uh, I would say let's go crit chance. I saw the projectile lifetime, which is obviously good, but still. Let's see what we get. Uh, is it defense time? I g Actually, no, let's reroll. Momentum, macro damage, 560 at this point. Oh man, I'm, I'm so eager to see the thing. Two level, two cards. We lose max life, but we gain decent damage. Projectile size, or we lose attack speed and gain decent damage. Actually, this gives us more, by the way. Uh, let's get lifetime. My projectiles are pretty mediocre right now. And this is crit damage, so we're gonna just straight up take it. Okay, let's continue playing. I need a bit of projectile speed, by the way. This uh, the slowest projectile in the universe is a bit mech. If I touch this guy, yeah, we have spikes, so bye-bye. 
Hypersonic super speed. Yep, we're gonna make my projectiles shoot out a lot faster. And uh, also, I think they go also out a bit further. So it's a win-win scenario. Thorns level 5 out of 7. Two more levels to go. And now the Thorns also shoot out spikes. So now they are actually decently useful. 2,000 of those crit hits. Come on, man. Give me focus. Give me focus. Thorns, 6 out of 7. Very nice. And now, one last 7 out of 7 Thorns. And now we're gonna get to focus. Also want to get accumulation. So please, give me accumulation. Give me focus. Give me everything I want. I mean, I'm lucky enough to get everything that I want most of the time. So it's gonna happen. Uh, let's get the tax suit, of course. Magic wand, they are pretty useless, but whatever. Let's go against the elite. Okay, and this is, should be the end of the round. Very nice. Let's maybe try to pick up some XP here. Maybe the coin. Although it's 50% less. Uh, projectile size. Uh, attack speed against damage. Never, ever, ever will I take this. Let's try to roll this into thorns. Death aura. Okay, I'm not gonna try to roll that again. Actually, let's try to roll that again. Okay, this time not, not again. Uh, we're gonna get this. Max life is important. Off to the right we go because that is the fight we want to fight. It's a shop. Unbelievable that we found a shop here. Um, I will definitely buy... I'm not going to get the Soul Gauntlet. Forget that. I'm definitely going to buy these three things that cost almost nothing. And this one thing that is going to be a reroll. A Void Spirit, 100%. Every single XP on the map now is going to get gathered on top of me. And uh, yeah, I don't. that's why I didn't get that Relic, by the way. Because I already had Void Spirit level 1. So I was assuming that we're going to get another Void Spirit at some point. This is the Banish thing I said. Let's, let's send that off. Let's get the good damage. Right now I'm doing 2.2 thousand damage. 2.2k. Well, 2.2k is still not as much as we will be doing when I get that beloved... My beloved focus. My beloved highest damage item in the game. I think the time has come to start getting some bloods. Now that I got my max life going. But also really enjoy being able to get a bit of max life. A couple of... Well, maybe one max life relic, you know? That thing that gives us max life based on how much food I eat. Obviously, that's like the one max life relic that just fixes your max life issues. Um, I would say let's go here, projectile size and knockback. The bigger the projectile size becomes, the crazier this is going to become. The easier it's going to be able uh, for us to handle every single side. I will keep the magnet there. I'm a bit afraid about if we're going to die. Let's go this. What is this? Max life for HP region? Honestly, no. Let's go here. With Damascus Steel. Maybe we're going to be doing 3000 damage in a bit. <laughs> I like that every single shot is a crit almost. Uh, by taking focus, we're going to reduce that by a lot, by the way. Let's reroll here everything. I would say God's Wrath. Aiming? No, God's Wrath, obviously. Why would I... Uh, <laughs> why would I take the inferior version? Gives you less damage and also gives you or loses attack speed. We're going to go projectile speed, I would say. So they th they go out faster, uh, further out. Because the more speed they have, the further out they go. Because the lifetime is based on duration, not the distance traveled, which is better in my opinion. I'm not never going to take this because I don't want to lose projectile size. I'm going to take this. Let's start having some defensive options here. Because I have been avoiding everything, def everything defensive related. Especially percentage defense is very important in this game. Uh, aiming. Nah, I'm thinking about yes. Yeah, I'll stay aiming. Let's get damage again. 4,000 damage. The whole plan here is to just one-shot everything. Uh, I am losing a bunch of life, though, just to be clear about that, as if it's not visible. Uh, let's go even more. Blood pressure, damage. Why not? Well, level 62. Wait, did I get the... Th so, is the thorns maxed out? Where's the thorns? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no! This next card has to be thorns. No! We got an issue here. Is there another something after this? Oof. Ah, uh, rare. No, I need a... I'm gonna reroll here. Uh, I, I cannot rarity roll it. Size. <gasps> I think it's over. I need to rarity reroll everything into epics. Otherwise, this run is... Uh, we, we just lost the level 9. I mean, I, I am gonna still keep this run going. And we're gonna get the level 9 in the next uh, shop. Do you remember when I took one more projectile? Do you remember? Good old days, right? Good old days when I decided to do the wrong thing. Yeah, that's now coming back to, coming back to bite us. As if it wouldn't, man. As if it wouldn't. Instant punish is a thing. Let's go. I'm kidding, by the way. I mostly believe I'm lucky anyway. I'm still trying to one-shot every single elite that appears and maybe try to miss on purpose on every single other thing. Because elites are supposed to give you more XP. Are they even giving me XP? It's like the elites are not giving me XP. It feels like it. By the way, why am I chasing down a magnet? Why, why would I need a magnet? 
I don't need magnets. I have global magnetism anyway. Permanently. Oh, it's it's not happening. I'm not seeing the level. Come on, give me an epic. Give me an epic. Oh, wait a minute. I'm in no rush. When I don't have a... When I, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm in no rush. I'm okay. I'm okay. We're okay. We're okay. We just need money. Oh, I don't have enough money. <gasps> I'm panicking more way than one. That's an issue. Project that speed. No. No. The plan has failed. The plan has failed. We get him next time is, I guess, the meme. But the, the thing is... Oh, no. <laughs> We're gonna be chasing down shops for over levels. <laughs> Got selection. No, we didn't get it. It is okay. Let's go recursion. Off to the left we go. Uh, now, obviously, yeah, exactly. The cleaver is here, but we didn't get what we need. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go rarity re roll the cards. Uh, what are we doing? Whoopsie. Let's get the katana. It's not that bad. Uh, let's don't do anything. Let's not do anything. Let's just go. And uh, by the way, what I tried to do there with the blacksmith, blacksmith was hoping that he's gonna give us the spikes, <laughs> but he didn't. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. That was the plan from the get-go. He's gonna machine gun us now. But it's too late for him. Bye-bye. Easy enough. Get the coin. Okay, now the plan has changed uh, drastically. Now the plan... Uh, yeah, okay, more damage if we get hit. Let's go Katana, of course. Level that too. Another plan has become, we're gonna try to get level 7 on Katana and also on the um, spikes at the same time. And we're gonna also chase down shops. Now the game does actually provide us with a shop here. I would say let's not go to this shop, uh, to this one, because we already had the shop here. We're gonna go here, Elite, and then here and another shop. Where's the Multifight? The Multifight's over there, which we cannot go over. Um, the plan has failed, and the thing is, I actually can in general not go over there, because we definitely 100% of the time need to go there. Now, we will see the cleaver only for one attack, most likely, but it is what it is. Let's go here, 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 and then, obviously, over there, pretty much. Right? I think that is the path. Uh, yeah, I think that is the path. So, let's hope that we are gonna get those... Uh, what are they called? Those, um, those monies, those monies, those over levels. First of all, we need to get level 7 on the, what is it called, the thorns. Also, I already have said that not every single run is going to be a level 9 run, but uh, this is going to be the cleaver run of madness. And we're gonna get at least one cleaver hit in the final boss, or at least in any enemy close to the final boss, hoping that it's gonna be like a million. I really hope we're gonna do a million damage. Uh, actually, I hope we're gonna do 2 million damage, because 1 million damage has already been done by me. So, you see, my, my benchmarks are a lot higher at this point. Like, a lot higher. Continue going around circles. Da -da 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 and wait for opponents to just give us money and XP. Uh, I guess projectile lifetime. Shoot the cleaver out farther. Yeah, I would say, yeah. I also am supposed to have, like, like the kunai here so helping us. Not kunai, katana. But still, <laughs> the cleaver is doing all the job. I really enjoy that we're picking up every single, every single everything, actually, every single second. Every single everything, every single second. There was a magnet there for money, maybe. We're gonna go here, more damage, and uh, we lose a bit of max life. Off to the whatever part of these two is the same thing. I like that the cleavers are huge. <laughs> it's like a whole blade coming in, 5,000 damage. Can I get my beloved focus? What has happened to Focus, man? You know how long it has been since the last time I find Focus? I mean, I am always picking up Average when I find it, obviously. But the thing is, I'm getting Average so many more times than Focus. Although it makes sense, to be honest. Like, Average is one of those things that just... It has to be easy to get. Recursion, 700 damage. Because if it wasn't easy to get... Then... Um, then you would always have issues with crits and crit damage, I guess. Um, filling all the rerolls. Uh, because now you might say, yeah, but crit and crit damage is always damage. Yes, it is, but uh, you have to invest a lot for them to be worth it. Like, just getting 50% more crit damage with 10% crit chance is definitely not worth it. So, you, when, you buy, when you buy crit damage, then you have also to upgrade uh, crits, then you also have to upgrade even more crit damage. Attack speed and damage here, very good. Perfection is one of the better ones. Let's get uh, something lucky. Yes, choose between four cards, really good. Multi-handed against Katana. I would say multi-handed, honestly. Uh, yeah, let's go with multi-handed. 
Katana would also be good, but let's go with multi-hand just there. Aiming, even more damage for attack speed? I would say yes. Let's go with the damage thing. Imagine choosing to lose damage. Another level. Uh, I'm not gonna take this. Let's go with this because projectile size. Okay. And also pushback, but who cares about pushback? <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm just chasing down the coins, by the way. Oh, this guy survived. Oh, he's surviving from the crits. Not only does he survive, in general, he survives. Okay, I need to get focus. I said it already a couple of times, but it's true. <laughs> it's uh, the best thing we could have possibly get here. I'm still waiting for it. Focus seems to have a very lower chance than appearing than average. I guess because it's better, but still. Uh, I would say this. We, we continue multiplying our damage in general. And also it's going to remove it from rotation. Max life also 9000 damage, by the way. And, people, and and elites are still surviving with 9,000 damage hits, but okay. <laughs> okay, game. Whatever you wish. Whatever you do. Let's continue going in circles. Just destroying everything that comes in our path. In our path? On our path? To our path? I don't even know. This is a kill fight anyway, so we're just chilling, destroying everything that we find. 69 levels. Nice. 10,000 damage. Nice. We did we did get the, the hit in there. Now we just need to find focus to do that and then double damage. Double damage relic and focus. We get those two, a million instant. Instant a million damage incoming. Card selection. Uh, well, we're gonna go with faster projectiles over projectile lifetime. As it's gonna remove it from rotation. Double card selection here. Perfection gives us damage on attack speed. And towards level 7. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. Okay, now we might find over level service. Boom, come on! Didn't get it. Um, let's get... I guess momentum here for the five. Why not? Two thousand coins. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Buy this for nine hundred. Doesn't really matter. I don't really want those relics. I would say let's reroll. And uh, yeah, let's go projectile size. I don't really want these either. Money for no reason. Let's go one card selection. Let's get katana leveled up. Projectile size would also be awesome. It's good. Oh, let's projectile size. Why not? We're not going to with you for more. We're going for another shop anyway. Uh, I also don't want to want um, to buy things I don't really care about. Let's go fighting. Uh, I would say this aiming. <laughs> Look how big the blades are. This is so stupid. <laughs> I'm thinking about not even going to the elite fight. I'm thinking about going for the another shop, as that's going to give me another chance for a reroll. I like, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, the overlevel service costs about 14,000 or something. So, I will most likely not be able to get it in time. Also, I'm thinking about maybe the katana has to get level 7, so it doesn't interact with the other weapon. Let's go to the recursion here. So it doesn't, uh, you know, randomly appear in the shop, and then I'm like, no, in the blacksmith. And then I'm like, no, we could have had a level 7, level 9 blade if it wasn't for the katana. It's gone. Just destroy everything. Doof, 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 doof. My, my, my. Elite's there. Wow, these guys are very durable. I'm doing crits of thousands, man. Look at this thing. Do these guys not drop a bunch of XP anymore? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> this is madness, man. Straight up. I love it. I love it. Although we're not as busted as I was assuming we're gonna be. I was assuming that everything's just gonna straight up disappear the moment they get hit, but... Nope, elites included. Accumulation! We're gonna obviously take that. That is what I was searching for previously. Projectile size also becomes bigger. Wow, this is literally for the cleaver, man. Let's go. I attack slower, but <laughs> instant 20,000 damage. Uh, 20,000 damage instantly. I'm telling you, crit uh, accumulation is the best, uh, the best legendary for this specific build. Other than focus, obviously, which we are still trying to find. Got selection bow, nope. Uh, range, I would say yes, I guess. Better than anything healing related. Okay, so I got 15,000. I'm thinking, I go here, I go here, I go here. And then will I amass enough money over these? I mean, I, I should, right? I mean, this is also time fight. It's gonna give us enough. I think I should go shopping, yeah. Let's go shopping. Got selection. Recursion is here for 4,000. That's really good. Uh, heals. No, we're gonna go here. Oh, by the way, this food heals an additional 20% of your max health. Yeah, nice. Now we know exactly what it does. By card selection. Let's go this. Even more projectile size. I would say one reroll. Uh, food increase max health. Well, that's a bit too late. Katana, I would say yes. Let's get 
What did I take? What did I just take? What did I just take? I do I took trade off. What did I just buy? I'm I'm super sad. Let's get card selection, Katana. I think we're okay with money. What does trade off do? Don't tell me. I think we lose damage. We lose attack speed. Oh, we lose projectiles for attack speed. Oh yeah, we, we are lucky that we happen to get that by mistake. You got my string, we no longer find trashy things. Okay, this all instantly showed. <laughs> Uh, let's go with Katana, obviously, as I said. Uh, Spirit is really good, but I need to get the Katana level 7. I started believing I made a mistake. Actually, with 5,000, I can buy... Uh, I can buy one card selection. Actually, let's go fight. It's gonna, The fight's gonna give me money and the card selection. Okay, we're gonna go... Whatever here. Percentage defense, I mean, I don't know. The magnet doesn't matter. Okay, shoot, shoot. These guys are very durable again. 20,000 hits. I'm not gonna upgrade the cleaver, my dude. Are you serious with these upgrades? I hear max life, whatever. I mean, it is a white card, so it should have a 75% less chance of appearing again. At least there's that, I guess. I really hope that the blacksmith's gonna give us everything the way we need it. I need to get the katana maxed out, man. If I don't get the katana maxed out, I also need focus. Oof, oof, we, need, we need so many things here to get the perfect run going. I don't see us getting the perfect run, by the way. But it is what it is. It is what it is. This laser focus you know, to one item makes me feel like sometimes I'm overdoing it with trying to achieve something specific. Like, I'm like, cleaver, 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 crits, crits, crits. But maybe I could just also do just a normal crit run one day and also have the cleaver be part of that run. I mean, this is a normal... This is literally what I'm saying. <laughs> what I'm doing right now is literally what I just said, with the difference being the mindset. <laughs> the mindset is the only difference. Trade off. We lose an hour projectile, we gain even more attack speed. Honestly, no. I would say just get 2% attack speed. Nah, let's, let's, let's throw the other projectile out too. YOLO it. I don't care. I know, I know. Two projectiles is literally double damage that I just threw away from some damage. I know, I know. But I think this is more fun. It's more fun to me just throw one blade and it's 20,000 damage. If, if anything, I would like the, these blades to be a lot more. And at the end of the day, I also have the cleavers. So it's not like I'm I'm lacking damage power or anything. And when I say cleavers, I mean the, the katana. <laughs> I also have the katana, so if, if push comes to shove... I have something melee to also snipe him. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Give me a level before the stage ends. Nope. Let's get money, maybe. I have 8,000 coins. Okay, that should be enough. Until I get there, that is. Uh, we're gonna go perfection, of course. Crazy damage once again for attack speed. Off to a fight, I would say, because we definitely want money. If this is not a fight, for example, we're super toast. Also, imagine going here, here, and here, which obviously would be a god path, but... As you understand, we need to go into fights on purpose because not only do they give us a lot of money, for example, this is 4,000 coins right there, right here instantly, as every single kill is a coin, uh, but they also give us XP, and at the end of the day, they also give us a card, so at the end of every fight, you get a card. Uh, so everything uh, points towards that. Um, I guess High Spirit, remove it from rotation, as I always say. Ah... Uh, so we picked the, the worst choice there, but there wasn't anything that was damage related, so why would I take anything else? 20k damage hits. 25,000 damage hits, actually. Hit him, hit him, hit him! Da -da 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 -da. Oh, let's continue. I remember when I had a thumbnail that was like 600 damage cleaver hits. Good old Sif, didn't know well the better. Ah, come on, give me focus. The one thing I want. He wants focus, but he doesn't go to shops to try to buy focus. He just goes to blacksmith. I mean, what's more important to me is getting a level 9 cleavers. Imagine if the level 9 cleaver says something like crits multiply times 5. Or times 10, actually. Times 10 would be so more awesome. So more awesome. I mean, if you get a level 9 weapon, shouldn't it also be insanely crazy? I think it should. So, times 10 crit damage on the cleaver at level 9. That is what I'm expecting. If it doesn't do that... Well... Stone handed. We lose attack speed and projectile lifetime. Both of these are important, unimportant to me. Uh, and we gain three more slashes. I mean, this is epic. I'm gonna rarity roll that. Oh, this is definitely not happening. Okay, you know what? Forget it. That was a huge mistake. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I have one rarity roll left here, which uh, might have been a mistake. But one can only hope, you know. One can only hope for the best. That is the only thing I have to say. I don't know what I was even expecting with those rerolls there. I should have rerolled legendaries. Yeah, if, if for example, the thing that I have double projectiles appeared again, I could have rarity rolled that into... 
Who knows? Maybe uh, focus. You know, maybe focus. That was a mistake. Yeah, that was a huge, huge, huge mistake. Uh, Perfection is here. Stonehand is here again, by the way. Let's take Perfection. Even more damage. I saw the cleaver there on the left. Up to another fight. We have 12,000 coins. So that means we will have enough money to do what we want to do in the shop itself. But the thing is, now we also need RNG to carry us. And I don't see us getting a million crit damage, by the way, because... You know, <laughs> we didn't get focus. And also, we don't have double damage. Like, the relic that gives you double damage, that is a must. Alongside focus. To be able to get this. Let's continue just playing. Running around at the speed of the sound. You know, wouldn't it be nice if you could uh, have a custom run that you start with a level of your choice? Although at that point, I would have used the game completely. <laughs> Like, I would start with focus, and if if you if I could start with a relic of my choice and a card of my choice, like one level of your choice and one card of your choice, and one uh, legendary uh, relic of your choice. Katana, first of all, that would be a new character, I would say. So a new character would get added in the game. It would be, as I said, um, you would gain, I guess, less XP or less metal progression currency, I don't know. And then the first thing that happens is... The moment you enter the game, it says, okay, which one of the, all those cards in the game do you want? You pick Focus, you know, maybe not Ascended ones. Maybe actually even Ascended ones. Even a low Ascended ones. Who cares? You can make it so that you get less meta progression currency with that character. Or you can make it so that you don't unlock things. Like, achievements are not allowed. This character does not get achievements going. I don't know, man. I mean, at the end of the day, isn't it all for fun? <laughs> But uh, I have to say, though, I have to be clean about something. I have played Path, um, Path of Exile. Yeah, I did have play I have played Path of Exile, but I didn't want to talk about that. Uh, I have played Risk of Rain 2. And honestly, when you play that, uh, when you play the run with that relic, that there, there is like a thing in that game where you choose, I guess, a run modifier. And there is a run modifier that allows you to literally, on every single level up, pick whatever passive upgrade you want. On every single level up, you choose from the whole game whatever you want. And uh, you obviously create busted builds if you do that. But uh, what you also do is you burn yourself out extremely fast. Like, extremely, extremely fast. So, I don't know how much of a good idea that would be. On the other hand, though, it's not like I hated the game, right? Like, yes, my rep re the replayability for me dropped a bit in the bin. But the thing is, the game is a single-player game anyway. So, replayability doesn't matter. There isn't, like, um, a an alive community that you need to maintain. You just want to have the players that play the game have fun for as long as they play it. So in my opinion, the fact that that relic exists in that game is actually insanely good. Because honestly speaking, I might have over, I'm like, I might have burned out of that game in I don't know, let's say 10 hours of playing. But if if that thing did not exist, if the choose whatever you want did not exist, who goes what go, who goes to say that I wouldn't burn out like three or four hours later just because oh man I can't get the run that I want to create? You know I I'm always finding trash things. This is this stupid, and then I just burn out of the game. It's not like my friends that played the game without that relic didn't burn out after 10 hours. Uh, let's go over here, I would say, and then we have to go towards the right. See that juicy... Oh, this is a, a, a kill fight, so... Itana, we're gonna go Katana, 6 out of 7. <laughs> Imagine if the Katana is the one that's gonna get the the very final level. The the level 9. The level 9 treatment happens to Katana. It, that might happen, by the way. It's not like I control it. Especially, like, if this level... If this level I'm doing right now gives me, um, like, if my level 81 gives me katana level 7, I'm good. But what I actually want is focus. Nope. None of those. Um, well, that's not good. I guess we're gonna go defense. I mean, penetration is useless, as my blades pierce, like, for the opponents anyway. Uh, at the end of the day, though, the one thing that matters is me getting the level 9 cleaver. At least allow me that game. At least don't I'll give me in the blacksmith only katana. Also, as I already said, dev, please. I mean, there is a good chance that the patch has already happened because the dev is crazy. And uh, it takes me like one day to catch up to the patch that is currently active. But at least let's hope that the blacksmith... Yes, 7th katana. Bye-bye, katana. That's done. Um, at least let's hope that the blacksmith is gonna have five weapons for sale from here on out instead of only two. Those blacksmiths with only two shot sales, that's, that feels so bad, man. Like It's like, oh, do you want the blue wand or do you want the, the, the bow? And you're like, what? None. Well, tough luck, man. <laughs> and uh, we got one more fight to go through and then the time for the level 9 cleaver has come. Come on, give me focus. Boom! Martyr is here, which is completely insane, by the way. Um, I could rarity rule. I'm, I'm, I am. I am gonna rarity rule this. 
No, I didn't. I, I thought you. Oh, I have thorns. Oopsie. Let's take the fire thorn. The thorns firework. So every time um, the thorn kills something, it launches four additional vegan projectiles from the enemy killed. I thought this was gonna be a completely different thing. By the way, I was assuming that we're gonna get um, Mar not Mario. What is it called? Um, lunatic. I was assuming we're gonna get lunatic there. By the way, lunatic being we literally do triple damage. So Lunatic would make it so my crits would be doing from 3,000 that they do right now. So, whoa! This is the first time I'm seeing this, what it actually looks like. This is so awesome! This is so awesome! I'm not gonna buy that. Uh, let's get Max Life. This, the spikes are so awesome. Look at this. Look at this! I love it! I love it! And it's awesome because I have the huge uh, projectile size. Otherwise, who cares? Man, <laughs> this looks so cool! This looks so cool. I'm gonna try to find a chest that gives me magnets before we win. Okay, come on, explode them. Come on, explode them. <laughs> it looks so cool, man. It looks so cool. I love it immensely. Okay, no chest there. If anything touches us, this round is over. Don't touch us. Come on. No, 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 no. The blades are protecting us. Once again, this is not a time fight, so nothing is rushing us. Where are the boxes, man? Are you serious right now? What is the algorithm for box finding? Up here it is. Okay, that's the magnet. Let's go. Boom! Well, half of them just died before they got it. Let's get a couple of coins. And let's now end the game. Come on, give me focus. No! The last chance of getting focus is gone. It is what it is. We didn't get the crazy crits. Now, the most important thing of all. Are we gonna get Cleaver as a choice in the shop? YOLO! Leroy! Go Cleaver! Yes! And just like that, we got Cleaver level 9. So, once again, you always go card selection first. You get the Cleaver here. So, this is 2,500 damage. Knockback 300%. Oh, this is a very good damage boost. Like, this is also 30%, almost 30%. We buy that. Then, you get the limit service. Boom. We got Cleaver here. Pretty much forced because we only have three weapons. What do these gain, by the way? Some damage, attack delay. Yeah, more projectiles, shot out, more def defense. This gets... Uh, damage, attack delay, blah, blah, blah. This gets... Uh, almost a 25%. Actually, this seems like a 50% damage boost almost. Yeah, 50% is 1,000, 1,200. Yeah, this is a 50% damage boost. This is a 20% damage cooldown reduction. This is 5 more piercing, who cares? And then also a uh, huge size, as far as I understand. And now, what is the true cleaver? Another 60% damage boost. Another attack delay boost, and more piercing, and projectile size. Boo. This, this, in my opinion, because you have to go through hoops to get this, I would say this should easily be that it does 5 or 10 times crit damage. I would say 10 times, by the way. The weapon is so simple that it should easily be 10 times crit damage. And not only that, because at the end of the day, you don't... Uh, the crit, crit chance is not 100%, right? So it's not like 10 times more damage would be... I mean, it would be crazy, but <laughs> what it looks like. Look what it looks like. And it does 81,000 damage. Can you imagine with focus how much damage this was gonna do? 81,000 damage and it covers the whole screen. Look <laughs> how stupid this looks. I love it. I love how stupid this looks. <laughs> uh, one can only hope. I'm gonna just move around like this. And I can only hope that I'm gonna get enough levels. I'm gonna get focus. No, I'm kidding. Let's just end this. Let's just attack whatever. I don't really need to run around and do stupid things. At the end of the day... We're not even gonna get enough levels here in a normal manner, time or whatever. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, blades around. Everything gets hit for 75,000. If you get hit once, you're done. You're done, and you're done, and you're done. Oh, we are getting enough levels actually here. We are getting some levels here, to be honest. Oh, there is, there is a chance, there is a chance. I'm gonna get focus here, I'm telling you. I'm gonna get focus, and the boss is gonna get one shot. It's gonna be 5 million damage. Come on, give me focus right this moment. This is my final level, pretty much. By the way, if the opponent touches us and too many spikes hit him, he's gonna get destroyed, but... Can't do anything about that now, can we? No! My last level up did not actually deliver. It is what it is. I mean, we can obviously farm even more, but the thing is that the, the boss is most likely gonna die. And I think I want to finish this with a, a nice explo... Explo... Come on, man. Explo... <laughs> explosion! Nah, wasn't able to. Explosion! Come on! Here it is. Wow, it doesn't do as much as I was expecting. Okay. Yep, boss is toast. I'm trying to avoid... You know what? We're gonna get one more level. I can do it. I can do it. If the boss does not touch us, 
Well, not my fault. <laughs> it is what it is, though. We did get the level 9 cleaver, which looks so stupid. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Oh, the thorns cut up soon damage. Cleaver, oh, 82,000 here. Uh, by the way, uh, just to be clear about what exactly I was talking about this whole time, uh, let's go over to main menu real quick. So let's go over to another achievements. We're going to go over to stats. We're going to go school cards. And uh, just to have an idea of how much crit chance I have right now, well, what does uh, where's, where's any crit related thing? Uh, this here, for example, no, no, crit related here accuracy. This thing says that I have 150 crit chance. That's what uh, crit damage. 150 crit damage. That's the left side, right? We we're looking at the left side right now because these are the base stats that I have when I start the run. And this is 12% crit chance. Okay. So now, if I had gotten, where is this thing? Um, where is? You know, the accumulation, by the way, as you said, accumulation from 100% damage brings me up to 500% damage. So this thing multiplies your damage by five times and decreases your attack speed by about, uh, it's, I mean, it's 70, 80%, obviously it's 80%, but I mean, it's, it's, it's more anyway. So where is absolute focus? This is it. This thing here, crit damage from 150 to 600%. And crit chance from 12 to 3.8. So you lose like four times your crit chance, about four times your crit chance, and you gain uh, four times in crit damage. So that would mean I would do four times more damage. And I was doing like 80,000. So that would be 80,000 times four. Wait, is that how it works though? Because my crit damage is supposed to get multiplied by three with a cleaver, right? I'm not sure. We could have easily gotten 100k per hit there, if not 100 hit. I mean, 100k, 100k was going to be a joke. Like 400k or 500k per hit was going to happen if I had this thing. But I was unlucky enough. And also, this was what I was talking about Lunatic. As you see, my base damage is 7.5 and it brings it up to 27.5. So this thing gives you 20 base damage, which means that uh, how much base damage did I have? Like 15. This would have made it also double damage on top of that. So we would have gotten millions upon millions of crit hits if I was able to get it. Uh, but the most important aspect, by the way, Flesh still not unlocked. The most important aspect is one thing. Dev, please make the crit, the cleaver, at level 9. Uh, yeah, at level 9 to get the triple crit damage becomes quad, uh, quad like 5 times. Or 10. I would say 10 for the memes. But, like, I mean, it would be a bit overpowered. But who gets level 9 weapons? Who do you think at level gets level 9 weapons? When this game, this game has launched, right? When we unlock a rank D world, which is most likely going to have 3 acts, then th most of the people, without using the Midas patch, because I'm using my exclusive Sift of Midas patch, um, most people, me included, obviously, uh, will be able to get the level 9 weapon in Act 2, because in Act 2 you will easily have already gathered up enough money to do the trick that I did with Blacksmith, and then use the whole weapon throughout Act 3. But you have to have a plan, and you have to be a bit lucky to get the things rolling. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think... The cleaver should get at least five times at level nine. Okay, I'm not even talking about level three. I'm talking about. I'm just talking about the fact that if something is supposed to be busted, then make it busted. Okay, that that's what I'm saying. And honestly speaking, it was awesome that the cleaver became huge, <laughs> but it would be more awesome if the cleaver was doing one million damage on crit. So anyway, that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. As always, thanks for the mat Patreon, 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 and membership supporters. And uh, yeah, that's it pretty much. I hope you guys enjoy this. I really enjoy the run itself. I really enjoy the game still. We are going to continue playing this, and I trust the dev is going to continue patching the game like he always does, and we're going to get so many more new and awesome things going. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Once again, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.